Eight simple poses for high school seniors. What's up everyone, my name is Sal Sincata. Today we are gonna cover, pretty quickly, eight simple poses that will change the way you photograph high school seniors. Every photographer I know always struggles with posing in general, but then they definitely struggle when they are working with young teens. Why? Because, well, young teens just think we're stupid anyway. I can't even say I'm uh, projecting because I don't have kids. But in general, it's always an awkward moment. If you're a male photographer, it's even more awkward when you're trying to communicate with a high school senior and trying to get them to look and feel comfortable on camera. We've all been in there. And so if you just kind of put these eight poses in your back pocket and start there, every one of your shoots will be a lot smoother, a lot easier. And then of course, from there, I like to say, season to taste. You'll start figuring out what works for you, what doesn't work for you, what works for a teen and what doesn't work for a teen. And that's okay. But I think if you have these in your back pocket as a place to start, your images will start looking stronger and stronger and definitely help build confidence for your senior because now they know, they clearly understand what you're asking them to do and they know that it's looking good. So let's just get started. All right, so before we get started, what are we working with here? Canon R5 in the 2870 lens, F2. Probably gonna work at F2 to 2.8 in here. All natural light coming into the studio because the lighting isn't what we're talking about here. It's just the poses, all right? So first up on the poses, we're gonna spread our stance, right? Real simple, hands on the hips, but don't make this so vanilla. Just pop that hip a little bit. Teach them to pop that hip, right? Either right, go left with it, camera left, yeah. So whatever looks and feels comfortable, each kid is gonna look and feel a little bit different. Let's go uh, camera right with it. Perfect, chin out at me, there we go. Okay, and then for kind of bonus credit here, so I'm, I'm gonna shoot this, one, two. Then for bonus credit, I'm teaching you eight poses, but really, they're gonna be looking at camera and looking away. So now those eight poses are gonna give you 16 different looks. And so it's very similar to what we'd call flow posing, right? So everything just goes naturally, looking away. Yep, go a little bit more left. Yep, right there, perfect. Not only that, we can shoot it vertical and shoot it horizontal, and that also increases our looks, doubles them up. Back at camera, yep, there you go. So now that one pose, I've actually gotten four completely different shots. Looking at camera, one, looking away, two, at vertical, looking at camera horizontal, looking away horizontal. So now one pose just gave you four looks in your portfolio and the images you're gonna show your clients, right? So keep that in mind. It's like bonus pro tip. It's like you're just getting all this extra stuff for free. All right, let's go here, arms in front. Love that. Can you grab up a little bit higher like by the uh, elbow? Love that. What if we turn this way? No, the other way. I like that, good. Chin to me a little bit more, chin down. That's where I like you. Good job. Here we go, one, two. Now you wanna watch those fingertips. Make sure you're not cutting them out. off. Looking away, more. Right there, beautiful. Okay, now I'm gonna go horizontal with it, perfect. Here we go. Eyes at me. Perfect. There we go. Arms behind your back. Love that. Yeah, square up to me again. Pop the hip this way. Now when you go arms behind the back, give me a little bit of flex so I can see through the arms here. This becomes really important just to give a little bit more depth. Roll the shoulders forward. I wanna see those collarbones. Love that. And then shimmy the shoulders a little bit. Love that, Blair. Beautiful. Right there. Here we go. One, two. Here we go. And I'm gonna go vertical. Eyes of camera. Beautiful. Now we're gonna bring hands up into the equation, and this is where people really struggle for a number of reasons. You've gotta manage this correctly. So I'm gonna tell her what I want her to do. Let's go one hand on the hip, and then this hand just right here next to your face. Beautiful, very soft hands. Chin down, down a little bit more, perfect. I want you to come in here closer. So the thing that's important here are angles, right? So we've got an angle coming off her chest or her shoulders, angle here, angle back up, and then you don't want this hand getting straight, right? It's gotta have a little bit of that angle and that makes it a much more pleasing shot. And trust me, if you have to come in here and just kind of show them what you're looking for, that's okay. We do it all the time with our kids because if it just looks like this, nobody wants that picture, right? It's gonna, it looks awkward, it's gonna feel awkward. And if you're coaching them through it, it's actually a good thing. So let's take this shot. All right, here we go. Hand on that hip, chin down, and then push that hand back just a little bit more. Beautiful. And so this is just at making the image a little bit more interesting. Love that expression from you, Blair. We'll go vertical, we'll go horizontal. Love that. Let me see your eyes going up this way, yeah? Big giggle up there. Good, stay up there. Good, no smile up there. Bring the eyes back left just a little bit, not at me. Yeah, right there, right there. Beautiful. Good. Then something else I like to do, again with hands, 
So let's drop that particular hand, is take her other hand, which wherever side of her face her bang is at, I want that hand to kind of gently pull it back. And again, we're gonna have the same problems. When you ask kids to pull their hair back, they do things like their hand comes in here, they yank it, it it's just super awkward. It's like this big monstrous hand. Again, very soft, almost like they're holding a pencil. Uh, and so let's pull that bang off just very gently right there. See, I don't wanna see this. So we're gonna go down and go gently like you're pulling it right there. Break that wrist for me, beautiful. Elbow out just a dinch, put this hand on the hip, put this hand up across your waist. So what you should focus on is not what's happening down here with this hand, it's her shoulder area. Watch what happens to her shoulder when she puts her hand on her hip. Put that hand on the hip. Shoulder looks completely different, go across the body than that. So it just depends on what you're looking for and how you're gonna frame this up. So go on the hip and I'm gonna be in somewhat tight here and just with a little bit of a Dutch angle, chin out and down and a little more smirky, right there. Beautiful, good. Go horizontal with it, give it a little bit more space. Chin to your right, just a little, more and more, yeah. I don't wanna see in there too much, twist it over, yeah. Drop that hand, and then just come back up very gently, pulling that back, yep, a little bit more. Yep, palm down, so it's here, and now here. There you go, but pull that back. Good, chin down, eyes at me, let me see, beautiful. Down a little more. Gorgeous, stay there with it. Okay, so you're seeing, even once we get to the pose, I'm still finessing it to get it to look just right. So the pose has to be in the back of your mind as you go through this, for lack of a better term, flow of poses, but I would do this on a brick wall for a high school senior. I would do it in front of an ivy fence and on and on. It doesn't matter that I'm in the studio. I would go through this flow and give her as much variety as possible. Okay, let's keep going. Let's go arms overhead. Okay, yep, pop the hip, real nice, good, chin, Hands are perfect, right there. Let's take this shot, gorgeous. Now for this, I love a little bit of funky composition. So I'm gonna put her in the bottom of the frame. Her arms are pointing up, the eyes are going up and away. Yes, pop that hip even more, get me more angle. Beautiful, keep that stunning, stay there, perfect. Now, every kid is not gonna be able to pull that one off, right, and that's okay. That's why you wanna have this in your arsenal and you work up to it. What you don't wanna do is get with a high school senior and just be like, hey, let's start with the most awkward pose humanly possible. Let's put our hands over our heads because you do that every day. No, you don't, and that's why it never looks and feels right. So we're building to this as we go. All right, so now let's go to arms crossed. All right, so this is all about attitude, but something to make it look better is when you cross, now I want your shoulders shimmy them for me, yes. So see the subtlety in all that? So go straight across with your shoulders, yep. And then shimmy them for me. Beautiful. Okay, so here we go. This is a nice shot. Again, I'm gonna use negative space for this. Go vertical, go horizontal. Looking away, yep, right there. I like where you're at. Bring your eyes back right, just a dinch. A little more, right there. I'm watching the whites of her eyes. Okay, I'm playing with my composition. Shoot me a look with your eyes, chin down, lift that left shoulder up more. Yeah, I love that, love that. Stay there, stunning Blair, gorgeous. Okay, now we've gone through several poses here to give us a nice plethora of shots. Any parent would be happy with it, the kids would be happy with it, but let's kind of keep making it stronger. Now what we wanna do is mess with the lower body, which I haven't even touched. So let's go ankles together, hands on the hips, don't put them perfectly symmetrical, make them asymmetrical. Pop that hip a little bit for me. But I want you to just, as your ankles are together, start bringing that knee up and then let that knee collapse across. More, more, more. And so what we're doing there is creating a beautiful S curve in her body. It's very asymmetrical, the way we have her hands. Chin down just a little, right there. Beautiful. Oh, stunning, Blair. Stay there with it. Changes shoulder lines. It changes the way everything looks. Looking away to your right. Yep, love that. Good, stay with it, keep that pose. Shoot me a look with your eyes. Now I'm just gonna keep building off this. Take this hand and just pull that bang off. Yep, right there, but I want you holding that bang. Right there, beautiful Blair. Right there, one, two. So now I'm building off all the looks that we've been working through, and once you've done this with your senior for the first outfit, the next set of outfits is gonna be simple. Looking away, yep, good, stay there. Give it a change in composition, put her in the lower part of the frame. I like that negative space. Shoot me a look. Chin down. Beautiful, Blair. 
And there you have it, guys. How easy and efficient is that in moving through your poses? Blair, how easy was it for you? It was really easy. Yeah, she just stands there, does her damn thing, and we get great pictures, making my life easier, making me look good. All right, if you like that video, like, comment, subscribe, help us grow the channel, man. We are crushing it, you guys. Thank you for all the love and support. We're about to cross 100,000. Get the big plaque now, if we haven't already done it by the time this video goes live. So I appreciate all the love and support. We'll see you in the next video.